This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Welcome back, you beautiful people. We are Gemma and Campbell, and we have just discovered the best swimming spot we have ever seen. This is honestly one that you are not going to want to miss. Absolutely amazing. For almost a year now, we have been touring in our van Ellie the Eldest on the hunt for the most incredible wild swimming spots all across Scotland. From the northernmost coast to the beaches of Fife and almost every loch, stream and waterfall in between, we have scoured the country to find the most beautiful location to dip our toes and sometimes our knees too. This week as we explore the stunning landscape of the Isle of Skye, catching up with the friendly locals, they are just so cute, exploring the mystical glens and towering mountains and enjoying the first glimpses of summer sunshine, we may have just completed our quest for Scotland's most bonny wild swimming hole. Yes! <laughs> if you're new around here and want to see the real and raw side to van life, from the gorgeous sunsets to exploding toilet cassettes, then hit that subscribe button and join the gang as we take you on a journey to the magical Isle of Skye. Guys, it is 4 a.m. here on the Isle of Skye and I'm about to take you on a hike to one of the most iconic sites on the entire island, if not the world. Are you ready, babe? I'm not gonna lie, I am absolutely exhausted. Could have very easily stayed in bed, but I'm really buzzing to get out there in that hill this morning. weeks we are going to be taking you around the best sites on the Isle of Skye so if you're not already make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out and we will see you next in Nice Point. And that is why we were so excited to start travelling Scotland that spring first time ever wake up in the morning to a beautiful sunrise and what do we see Jim? Some baby lambs! How cute are they? <laughs> Honestly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness they are just so cute. Last night we parked up at Neast Point, which is the most westerly point on the Isle of Skye and it was a beautiful night, we sat and watched the sunset but we didn't actually get a chance to explore around it because unfortunately the clouds came in and well, we went to bed. Yeah, so there's a nice jetty apparently and also a really good lighthouse so we'll go and check that out now. So yeah, this is obviously quite a popular camping spot because there was a few camper vans camping along the side with us. I'd say about six or seven. And I can see why, because it is just so beautiful along here. Funnily enough, this is actually the first time we've come to here in all the times we've visited Skye because it's been the only time where there's not been any breath of wind as this is famously the most windy place in Scotland. The landscape around here and all over the Isle of Skye is just absolutely breathtaking. Like the cliffs here are just so rugged. If you take one step wrong, you're literally gone down that cliff. Now the one thing I love about visiting old hit lighthouses just like this one is just how steeped in history the entire like area is. As I showed you before, they've got that old kind of cable car lift system they would, they would have used to actually lift down supplies off the cliff. The lighthouse itself and these buildings, I'm not entirely sure if they're occupied. A lot of the other lighthouses across Scotland have been converted into like self-catering accommodation. This one looks pretty abandoned and there's old net curtains and the uh, windows are boarded up and there's like steel grates across some of the doors. So I think that is a completely unmanned lighthouse these days. Such a beautiful location down here, well worth the walk down if you're in the area. But those clouds are starting to look a little bit intimidating so I think we better get back up to the van. <laughs> right, right. now this is funny because last night I said to Campbell, I was like, what is all that wet stuff all over your t-shirt? And we were looking at it and I was like, it's in your armpits. Why is it th there? It's here, here, here and here and here. And I was like... This is just out the laundry as well. This isn't dirty or anything like that. Yeah. It's just covered in stains but for some reason. He had it on and then he came over and sat beside me and I was like, you smell like Malibu sun cream, like that smells really nice. And um, we've actually just come to the realisation this morning, because I said to him again, I was like, I can smell sun cream again. It stinks a bit, man. I think that's what it is. I think it, it must have spilt all over your t-shirt. Really managed to get the armpits 
Why are the armpits? I, I need a new wardrobe, man. This is ridiculous. I do smell good, though. It, it smells it's not, amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Alright wee laddie, I'm Hamish McSquamish and welcome to the Scottish Highlands. Today I'm going to give you a tour of some of the most tranquil places in the entire world. My haven in the wild. When I'm out in the Highlands of Scotland, I want to keep uploading to my favourite social networks and stream my favourite TV shows and YouTube videos. On you go lads! Come on Finn Russell! Yeah. In the Highlands of online content, there's a lot of websites and beasties that take your info without you even knowing it. But you can stay under the radar using Surfshark VPN, or Virtual Private Network. You can stop websites from tracking your info and selling you targeted ads. Nothing is creepier than when you're having a conversation with a Highland coup about something and it pops up in your adverts. You know what I found out last night? Down south, they actually have desks indoors. How crazy is that? Plus, with Surfshark's alert ID protection, you'll get an alert when something is trying to break into your email. But one of my favourite features of Surfshark is that you can see content not available in your area. How many times have you tried to watch a new season of Whale Migrations and the video is blocked? For me, too many times to count. Not anymore though. Just log in with Surfshark and you can get access to videos that aren't normally available to you. So if you want protection and freedom online, click the link in the description and use the promo code HAMMOX for a whopping 83% off the regular price. Surfshark also offers a 30 day money back guarantee so there is no risk if you want to try it for yourself. Thanks Surfshark for my internet freedom! <laughs> Smelling like a girl's weekend to Benidorm, we hit the road to our first destination of the day. Our hopes high that the skies would clear and we would be in for a treat with some incredible sky landscape. So the place that we are going now we've actually been before, but the last time we visited we were actually in our little Corsa, so it's going to be interesting going along the narrow winding roads in a motorhome. Kind of hoping that we're here early enough that it's not going to be super busy. Yeah, but we just need to wait and see. Alright. Wish us luck. We do this so that if it's a mistake, you don't have to. I'm just hoping we can turn at the other end. That's the only problem, yeah. I know. <laughs> did you think of that? I did, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> this is all brand new. And we will remember to pay. I keep saying that word pay in your head. Pay, 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 pay. 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 Supporting your local community yep, by paying supporting. fines. <sighs> two hours, two pounds. Oh, oh good one. That's fantastic. I guess that's what happens when you choose the cheap option. It's just like, hey, take your ticket, you filthy peasant. So what's really interesting is the last time we were actually here, uh, it was the middle of January. It was miserable, like the wettest January I've ever experienced in my life. But we actually came to the Fairy Glen the next morning and it was still pretty miserable. We were like walking through a swamp. So I'm really glad the sun is shining and we can actually get to see it on a bit of a brighter day. Yeah, I'm excited. And so this, guys, is the Fairy Glen. I think it's definitely one of Sky's most like iconic places to come and visit. And I can see why, because it is just magical. It's such a pretty little spot, especially if you get blue skies like we have today. So this area was actually formed due to a landslide that's created this magical looking place, which is known as the Fairy Glen. Now, as far as I know, there's not actually any traditional folklore that's linked to fairies, but it just looks so magical. So I guess that's where it's got its name from. I feel like it looks like something out of The Hobbit or like, I mean, huge contrast here, but the Teletubbies? Do you not think so? <laughs> the Teletubbies? I don't know, it's, it's just so like, kind of like, otherworldly. What's funny is we actually kind of script a lot of what we're going to say, like we discuss it before we say it, but that Teletubbies line just was an absolute curveball and that took me. I was not expecting you to say that. <laughs> And I guess on the topic of things that don't really have anything to do with their name, that big rock behind me is called Castle Ewan. For no other reason than I think because of the fact that it looks like a castle. Never used to be a castle, never will be a castle, but it's just a natural rock formation that kind of looks like one, so I guess it's a fitting name. Because it kind of guards the realm of the fairies of Fairy Glen. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go, princess. Oh, yeah, I think after visiting the Fairy Glen like that, it's kind of opened their eyes to the amount of actual infrastructure work and investment that is going on in the Isle of Skye. Like last time we were here, we saw it at the Old Man of Store, because obviously there's that new waste disposal mm -hmm. and there's a whole new parking area. But then also up at the Kuthring, yep, yep, there's, there's a there's huge car park up there as well. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really good to see actually. And you don't mind paying for parking when you can see work that's going into it. I mean, this path that takes you all the way around to the Fairy Glen, it's so good and I feel like it can actually make you enjoy the area a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I would recommend Sky now because it's obviously getting there with the amount of investment that's going on. From here, we headed south through the winding roads to find a park-up spot for the night, tucked snugly beneath the towering Cullen Mountains, and a surprise visit from friends unmet still in store. So it's a very exciting day for us and a very exciting day for you guys as well, I'm sure, because we're doing a first ever Hill and Ceramics thing. We're actually meeting up with a fellow van life YouTuber. It's been on our bucket list all year. It was one of our goals for 2022 and it's finally coming true. I feel like, I don't know, we're like talking to celebrities or something like that. <laughs> so we're meeting up with a lovely couple, Nick and Sam, who do the Nick Rooms YouTube channel. They just arrived here on Sky the other day and we finally crossed paths with them, been chatting to them all the time on Instagram. And we're going to head over there. We just need to quickly wash the dishes but Gemma's rummaged in her own in the cupboard. Why is that, Gem? Well, I'm trying to find a bag to take over some cups and drinks, and Campbell is telling me to take this cool as a cucumber. We've got a bag! It's over there! Hold that up. This bag is featured in many photos and videos, and apparently it's not good enough for Gemma. Cool as a cucumber, look at that. I'm sorry, but I just feel like I'm shouting at them. I'm cool as a cucumber, look at me with my bag. Absolutely yes, not. I mean, I'm trying to find this one bag. will not be holding the bag. This one will be holding the bag, because well, I'm the only one. <laughs> oh wait. Let's get that door in the way. The only one in this relationship that is as cool as a cucumber. Good morning everyone. So we did actually go over and meet up with Nick and Sam last night, but because we're pretty bad vloggers, we completely forgot to film it. But unfortunately those guys have to take off today, so I'm just going to pop over, give you a quick tour of their van and say goodbye to them because it was just so much fun meeting up with them. They're just those kind of people that you meet up with and you can sit and chat absolute nonsense all night long. Messy cook in the kitchen today. You just love bloody cleaning up, didn't you? No, it doesn't expect it. This has got a hole in it, surely. If you guys ever look at our van and wonder why it's always a mess, that's why. Because I live with this one. Just like that, we've got a park up with one hell of a view. You want to tell us what's on the menu for lunch, babe? Ooh. Summers and my eyes there. We are having a kind of lemon garlic style tofu with spinach and some orzo and just a couple of vegetables chucked in there but I don't really know how it's going to turn out. We've kind of winged it, um, just chucked loads of ingredients together. Semi following a recipe but more so not following a recipe because we don't have half the ingredients. I think it's going to be quite nice. It looks nice. I've tasted a bit of this sauce. Doesn't look like much but kind of actually looks like the toilet when you empty it. Oh for goodness sake. Well, it's definitely the first time I've got these guys out in a while, so must be coming in spring. Oh, here we go. Thank you, baby. This does look very special. Right, taste test. What did I use? Orzo. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's magic. Mmm. Summer's here, guys. That is magical. Okay, so Gemma actually just went inside because she's seen the wind's still a bit cold. But we've got a visitor coming over to see us. So let's see how long Gemma lasts inside the van. Hello there. Oh. <laughs> oh no, don't turn around because I've come out. You're the pitter patter. Come and see us. Well, let's see a wee baby as well. Oh, that's so cute. Hello. Oh You're beautiful. He's tiny. Hello. <laughs> I just love them so much. Oh, licking up that hay. I know we are from Scotland and we see these guys, what I feel like is like every weekend, but it just never gets old because they are just the most beautiful creatures in the world. Mmm, they can't see me for their fringe. Come on. Oh, not interested. I don't think you're selling it to them, boo. Nah. <laughs> mm. 
With the sky clearing and the wind quickly picking up, we hit the road for our final sight of the day. One that neither of us had ever heard of, never mind visited. But we were so excited to finally see it. If only we could, you know, actually find it first. Why do I feel like I'm driving down someone's driveway? <laughs> I literally am. So glad I'm not driving these windy roads. Why did Google Maps bring us here? Every time. I just feel like I'm too big everywhere I go in Sky these days. <laughs> We're trying to find all these like tiny little lesser known spots for you guys and it's just taking us down people's driveways. Well this one was called Loch Shinta and I have to say from the photos it looked absolutely stunning. Kind of looked a bit like the green loch in Aviemore. for a nice find. water. I don't know how to get there. This is, where, uh, how, uh, this is how Google Maps has directed us. And we just need to find somewhere else to park maybe I think. Wait. Found the parking. But we just drove past the sign for it. We found the parking for it. It's a big sign that says Loch Shinta, not B B B and B. <laughs> Up in Google Maps. Get me in trouble. Nice views from here. It is a cracking. There's a beautiful beach down there as well. Hopefully we can see a bit more of that. But yeah, let's go and find this loch then. Yeah. Since it is an official site that I've not been to yet, so I'm very excited. So I was just looking on Google Maps as we're walking down and funnily enough, the beach that we we're talking about just over there actually leads around to Anne Corrin Beach, which is where we found the dinosaur footprints last time we were on Sky. It's really cool. It just looks very different today though because we've actually got blue skies, whereas back then it was miserable in January and we were getting blown about by about four different storms. We found it. Very small. I don't know what I was expecting. I think I was expecting it to be bigger, but then I was confused how it was going to be bigger when it was this close to the sea. It's just so peaceful down here because it's like completely removed from the road up there. And yeah, you can hear is just the sea and the waves crashing on the beach. And you've just got this tiny little green loch and very pretty. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I was thinking when I saw it on the map and the fact that it was called the Green Loch or Gemma said it looks like the Green Loch it was going to be like a kind of murky type of water and I was going to joke about going for a swim in it but that is like lagoon crystal clear that is incredible wow absolutely amazing I mean I'm not being fooled I know it's going to be absolutely freezing but and you know there's not even anybody else here from the deafening sound It is absolutely unreal So beautiful I say this every time but this is one of the best swimming spots for sure It's absolutely gorgeous We didn't bring our bathers down today Unfortunately. Unfortunately One day we're definitely coming to swim here because it's beautiful, so clear and easy access as well, you can just slip in on these rocks Yeah, I see, this is definitely a spot we're going to be coming back to yeah. and early morning, a quick duck in there That'll, that's definitely a good way to start off the day because Absolutely. like Gemma said, I think this is one of my new favourite spots on the Isle of Skye mm. Oh for God's sake Literally, can't go around a corner in this van without our bin exploding everywhere. Is that you driving or was that me? I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so our next stop is we're gonna head back into the town of Portree and try and nab a little space to park up there for the night. It's probably gonna be quite busy because it's coming in more into peak season and you have to pay five pound a night, but it, there's a live music event going in the Portree Hotel and we really wanna go and check that out. Spend a night in a little bit of civilization and have a couple of pints, so Portree Harbour is just perfect for that. And so we just got lucky here in Portree. Last parking spot. There's a van there, there's a van there, and there's another one just over there. It is snug as a bug in this harbour. But it's because they got rid of all the other overnight spaces. There used to be ones all the way along the front, but they're now daytime motorhome parking, and there's only four nighttime motorhome parking. Don't really understand the point in that. But nevertheless, we've got a gig tonight. Hopefully there's gonna be in the Portree Hotel. We're gonna go and have a couple of drinks, go and relax in that. Gemma is suited and booted, she is looking fabulous. You want to give us a spin, baby? Thought I might as well put something other than my leggings on for the occasion. Ooh! <laughs> and I probably don't look too bad myself, I've got to say. So, yeah, we're going to go enjoy that. Yeah, 
this is a good idea. Oh, honestly, why didn't we just come up the hill and get our bathers the last time we were here and do this? Believe it or not, team, we actually woke up this morning and it was blue sky sunshine. So we thought this is a perfect opportunity to go for a swim at that beautiful little lock that we saw the other day before we sign the video off and say goodbye. As you can tell, it's now miserable weather. Why? And there she is, looking beautiful in the blue skies. I'm so excited to be back here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried about how cold I'm actually just feeling the ground. Never mind actually being in that water. <laughs> Hi babe, cannonball. Not a chance. I tell you, if that wind wasn't there, this would be so much easier. Well done. Oh my goodness. I can't Ready? tell if that's water in your face or tears. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. I need to stay warm. That's painful. I know. That is painful. Oh. Yes. So worth it watching it. Oh. That was so difficult, but so worth it. My body is on fire right now. Yeah. Honestly, guys, if you're not into your world swimming, don't go off with how that reaction was because yeah. I feel alive right I now. I do, I do. We were feeling a bit kind of like meh this morning, but I feel so much better now. I will say though, this spot is deep. So if you're not a confident swimmer, like I wouldn't recommend it because yep. you kind of just go off a wee ledge and it is very deep. So you have to be able to swim to, um, Definitely. Just look at me, I can't even catch my breath on that cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to sign this off here, guys. Um, before it gets too windy and before the clouds come in. But if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's us know that we're doing the right thing. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got another Sky Vlog coming out next week. And I can tell it's going to be a good one, so you do not want to miss it. And as always, guys, we'll see you again in the next one.